Yeah, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Cousin It. Yeah, so the real nigga, the real spill, the drip guy, Sas Waka himself, officially stopped sipping lean. And niggas should spark up and celebrate because, hey, man, we losing way too many niggas to this shit. You know what I mean? Sauce Walker made a post, man, on Instagram yesterday, pretty much just explaining how he went through 12 days of withdrawals. That shit beyond me, it must suck. Never experienced it, and I don't hope that on nobody. Just smoke weed, man. That's all I'm saying. Smoke weed, sip some liquor once in a while. You know what it is. But anyways, so Sauce Walker said, day one after 12 days of withdrawals, pain and detox from seven consistent years of drinking liquid heroin, a.k.a. drink. Nothing less than six to ten ounces of daily direct consumption, nearly a decade of drug abuse and five million wasted dollars later. This is what a rich dope head dummy looks like. $30 million former dope fiend, and I want my fans, haters, and kings to know and be inspired. Today, Sauce Walker is promethazine and codeine free for life, and I hope y'all come with me. Fuck drink. But from a cultural standpoint, my weather and respects for it, it still stands. So I dropped the bottle. Fuck kick a cup. I almost died in my daughter's face, killing myself. Something you punks will never do to me. This is what a real man is. One who leads by his triumphs and failures and shows that message transparently to the people that need. This is a black king. This is a god. To my people, I love you. Shit done brought tears to my eyes, man. <laughs> nah, but yeah, man. Like, it's much respect to Sas Walker for that. Because, hey, it takes a lot to even call yourself a junkie. And I, I'm going to keep it a buck. My nigga, this is it's just fiend shit. You know what I mean? What, like, how, how the rap game is today. A lot of niggas is a whole bunch of fiends and they rap. But, hey, man, much respect again to Sas Walker for detox. And I hope he continues. Shit ain't even worth it, man. I had my experience with the activists once, man. I used to be driving around with my little homies and shit. And I used to be sipping that on an empty stomach. And one time, nigga, driving, my body started shutting down. Scariest shit I ever went through in my life. So that's when I stopped. But anyways, going back, Sauce Walker didn't only post his detox and, you know, what he's been doing. He also threw shots at YTM Lil Vent. So for those that don't know who YTM Lil Vent is, a Mexican nigga that's been going back and forth with Peso Peso, dissing him, dropping tracks. Claiming Peso Peso White and all that. So Sauce Walker posted, Blockstar rocks our Peso Peso got more money than all you hating little niggas. And all his ice real, y'all lucky I've been sick. I'm about to shine on y'all silly ass. TSF business, three more days. So Lil Vent, he went in the comment section. He said, I don't know about the money part, Mr. Sauce Walker. I'm having two. All right, but yeah, that's pretty much it, man. That's all I got for y'all right now. I want y'all to let me know in the comment section what y'all think about, you know, Lil Vent and Peso Peso. Now Sauce Walker throwing shots at Lil Vent. Y'all think Lil Vent and Peso Peso should just box it out right now? I personally think they should just bang. That's it. Give each other a few doses of NyQuil and call it a day. And are y'all happy that, you know, Sauce Walker let go of Sippin' Lean? Or do y'all think that's going to, like, affect his music and who he is as a rapper? Do y'all think that's part of his image? Or it's good that he just let it go. Y'all let me know, though. If y'all rock with me, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I post YouTube drama and hip-hop news. It's your boy Cousin Nick. I'm out.